Hey y'all, welcome to another video on this channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about more Revenue Cat, and specifically, what are the difference between offerings, entitlements, and products, and which one to use where. So, let's hop on in. If you haven't heard of Revenue Cat, Revenue Cat is an in-app purchase SDK and subscription platform for apps. It, I use it to manage in-app purchases for all my current and future apps, um, so like iHog has it, um, Artnet Converter is about to have it, and then My Wheels is being built with it for subscriptions. If you're watching this video and you don't, you you probably know about Revenue Cat, so that's probably all I'm gonna say about it. But if you need to know more, you can always check out the rev website. This video is all about the differences between entitlements, offerings, and products, and you know, kind of like when you need to use them purely because it was something that I was really confused about. So I figured some other people might be confused also. So first off, let's explain what each is. What is a product? Well, a product is the item that the user will actually purchase. This is configured both in Revenue Cat and on the App Store. So here's what they look like but in Revenue Cat and in the App Store Connect. So in Revenue Cat here, we have Light Month, Light Year, Pro Month, Pro Year. And you can see that they're actually tied to a store. Now, if you go to App Store Connect, and this would be the same for Google Play Store, or if you were using Stripe or whatever you're using for your in-app purchases that Revenue Cat supports, you can see that I have these in-app purchases here. They correspond together because this is how this is how Revenue Cat actually can talks to the App Store and t says which product was actually purchased. Um, and you would have all the different products here. So if you were on Android, it would also say whatever Google said, like the Google Play Store instead of App Store. Um, if it was the web with Stripe, it would say Stripe there. Um, so this has to be set up on both dashboards, both in Revenue Cat and in the App Store Connect. So what's an entitlement now? Well, an entitlement is what the user actually unlocks by purchasing your app. So, so if you think about like a free app with ads, the entitlement and you had an in-app purchase to get rid of ads, the entitlement could be like ad free. And then whenever someone purchases the, whenever a user purchases the ad free in-app purchase, it would then be given that entitlement, the user would be. Um, so the entitlement, like I said, is what the user actually unlocks with the purchase. It could be a level of access, certain features or content, and uh, this is just what the user actually receives. So as an example, again, in my wheels, if we go into the Revenue Cat dashboard, since this is only configured on the Revenue Cat side, like Apple doesn't care about this, Google doesn't care about this, it's purely on the on the app stores, I mean, on the Revenue Cat side, we can see that there's two entitlements here, a pro and a light. So each one has its own separate set of features. Um. You could also give entitlements to to paid upfront apps if you have certain features that are locked behind an in-app purchase, like that kind of thing is also totally possible with entitlements. Where you might not want entitlements is if you're building like a um, coin-based system, then there's no reason for an entitlement there because it's not unlocking anything. You just buy coins and you keep using it. Now you can still use Revenue Cap for that kind of stuff, but you don't need to necessarily need an entitlement at that, at that point. And finally, what is a offering? An offering is a collection of products called a package um, th that a user's offered on your paywall. So think of offering like the actual price tag at the store. There's that default price tag at the store for an actual physical product. That is an offering. Now a sale comes around and says, hey, I want to take this off for 20%. That is another offering. And these are all configured inside Revenue Cat so that you can dynamically change what you're actually presenting to the user without needing to update the app. Offerings are one of those things that don't need to be, that don't need to absolutely be configured, especially because if you're not offering it, then you don't need it. Um, if you don't, if you don't think you're ever going to change your prices, you don't need the offering. It just allows it to be a little bit more dynamic. So let's look at a little bit of the of the offerings here. So here's like two offerings that I have in my wheels. Um, I have a pro MVP because right off the bat, I think I'm actually just offering a pro level. And then uh, there's the default that has both levels. So until I can actually figure out a design that works for both a light 
and a pro entitlement, I'm just going to go with the pro level and call it done there. And it's going to be so much easier to develop, I think, and design at the same point. And like I said, offerings allow you to just dynamically present what products are actually can presented to the user. Um, so if you go into like the pro MVP, you can see that I'm presenting a monthly and a yearly subscription offer to the user. But by default, I was actually just trying to give a pro monthly and a light monthly and then save for the light and the pro annually. Uh, so it, it can dynamically change what's being presented and you can actually change which one's currently presented just from Revenue Cat itself and you don't have to go and get another app store approved if you don't want to. I've kind of talked about already when to use a product, entitlement or an offering, but let's just go through it one more time. Since you kind of know the basis of all three, now is probably a good time to just summarize when you would use all of them. So a product you probably won't use directly if you're using uh, subscriptions or unlocking capabilities, but if you're implementing like a coin-based uh, a coin-based mechanism like for games or a tip jar, then it's probably likely that you'll actually just access the product. That way you just have direct access to whatever the product is. Then you have entitlement, and you use this when checking if a feature is unlocked. Um, it's something that you can just check in revenue cap for, so you might as well use it. Um, and you don't have to worry about like setting a level somewhere or whatnot, unless your phone, unless you are expecting to not have like internet access to check that entitlement entitlement, but that is what the entitlement is there for. It's for you to check if the, un if the feature itself is unlocked or not. And finally an offering. Um, so an offering is really useful. Like I said, if you're trying to present like a paywall, and you can just do it through the offering because then it can be really dynamic and show what product, what packages you actually want the user to be able to purchase. And that's all I got. That is, those are the difference between the entitlements, offerings, and products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me use some of this stuff, then go subscribe to my Twitch channel, Megan Wilson underscore, where I work on uh, iOS app, my iOS apps almost every day of the week. Um, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.